I would like to thank Craig J for sending me this story and as you all know who this is, this is Les Moonves. It seems like they're coming out maybe with a story once per month about this guy. They're not harping on it. Like, let's be real here. If this was a black guy, if he was Cosby, we'd probably hear a story about him every single day. But with him, they like to spread their stories out in hopes that we forget about him. But we ain't forget about his ass. And we're going to make sure that we don't forget about him either. So the latest news that has come out about Mr. Moonves is that they're alleging that uh, he destroyed evidence and misled investigators during the probe and, you know, with the investigation of him and these allegations of sexual assault and other things have come out about him. And to be honest, none of that surprises me. You got to think a guy who is a billionaire has access to some of the best lawyers in the establishment that can help him do stuff like that. And as I was reading through the article, they mentioned something very interesting. Les Moonves has or CEO of CBS for well over 20 years. That's a long time to be accumulating a lot of money and building a lot of wealth. He probably had some wealth before then, but probably not at the level as what he was getting as CEO of an entire broadcasting network. And the thing is, you have to work or be in a certain position like that for a certain amount of years in order to have a huge severance package. His severance package, of course, as we all know, was $120 million. It's now $100 million because, you know, he gave, I'm sorry, quote unquote, donated $20 million of it to me too, which is why I don't take that organization serious at whatsoever because they're all about securing the bag at the end of the day. They secured that bag and they became even more quiet about Les Moonves, but nobody wants to point that out. Ever since that happened, they did not jump on his ass like they did everyone else, black in particular. And they probably wouldn't have taken the money from anybody else. Imagine Bill Cosby giving them that money. But why would he give them that money? Because he knows that he is not guilty of what he's doing, unlike Les Moonves, who gave them that, which was basically hush money. But let me get back on topic. So, like I said, you have to work in that position for a certain amount of years. And the more you work, the bigger your severance package grows. His came up to $120 million. The reason why they believe that he um, destroyed this evidence that they had built up against him is because if he did not, if he got caught sooner, his severance package would have been very low. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to plug my uh, computer in the battery, as you can see, was getting low. But anyway, that's the reason why they believe he destroyed that evidence. So there probably was a whole bunch of more evidence out there that they could have had against this guy. And they probably could have blew this investigation sky high and caught him probably years ago. Because his stuff dates back decades this is not something that happened probably within the last five years. This has been going on for a while, even while he was probably married to his first wife. And we already know what happened with that. And then with his current wife, his current concubine, Julie Chen. And we all know how we feel about her. So that's what I, that's the re, the reason why he had that evidence destroyed, because he was thinking about that severance package. And he knew that if he got kicked out sooner that his severance wouldn't have been as high as it is. A hundred million dollars is a lot of money. And you know what's so funny? This guy's already in a billionaire status and he was more worried about that um, hundred million dollars. Most billionaires probably wouldn't be like that worried, but then again, you never know. A hundred million dollars is still a hundred million dollars. That's a lot of money, unless you're someone like Jeff Bezos, who's the uh, uh, CEO of Amazon. A hundred million dollars is probably like a dollar or maybe ten dollars to him and i was also when i was looking at this article it was another article that i saw right below it that said that allegedly les moonves had an employee on call to give him oral sex that means he had someone that he had working for him that he confided in to come and give him a blow job whenever he wanted one and that person will go do it and that person that employee was not his wife julie chen it was somebody completely different i'm telling you this story is very very 
very uh <laughs> very interesting but they're not going to touch him not the way that they got bill cosby that's for damn sure and i don't expect them to touch him like that anyway the guy has a lot of money he has a lot of power he has a lot of influence he just doesn't have the position of ceo anymore to call major decisions over the network but this is a white guy who is a billionaire Remember, I just did a story about that Jeff Epstein. He was the billionaire, and he was pimping out all these girls and women and whatnot. And then he found a way to have uh, his lawyers and attorneys and whoever do all this stuff for him so he could pretty much walk away from this scot-free. He was able to serve time, not in jail, but at his beach house, which was in a location that was not where the crime was committed. He was either in Florida or in California because I don't think there's a Palm Beach in New York. I highly doubt it. So when you're white, in most cases a male, and you have a lot of money, that's a triple threat right there as far as privilege goes. That's three versions of privilege all wrapped into one package. And Les Moonves is going to fall right into that category. Hell, look at Harvey Weinstein. And he doesn't, have, I don't think he has that as much money as Les Moonves or that Jeff Epstein. And they're handling him with kids, kid gloves. As a matter of fact, I think we heard more about Les Moonves in the last few months than we've heard about Harvey Weinstein in the last year or so. And he was the first one they went after. So, what does that tell you? We don't hear about Les Moonves often. I give it a few more months and we probably won't hear about Les Moonves anymore either, but they'll find a way to slip Bill Cosby in there. It's funny, like, they always like to make jokes and things like that about Bill Cosby. But I'm like, y'all make it seem like Bill Cosby is the very first person to ever be accused of something like this. It's just the fact that the climate in which it happened in, it was popular to go after him. And to be honest, if more black people, like, thought, you know, like myself, and the Coles view and Lisa Cabrera, Professor Black True, Jason Black, Harvey, um, you know, all of them. If a lot of other black people outside of us were aware of stories like this, then it would be, you know, more uh, interesting. But see, mainstream media does this on purpose where they have to project or put a black face in, your, in a black person's face because they know that's on the only black person they're going to be familiar with. Bill Cosby. Recently, Kareem Hunt. Uh, who else? Nate Parker. Uh, briefly, Jamie Foxx, but that didn't have any legs. Morgan Freeman, but that didn't have any legs either. But Bill Cosby is like their golden goose. They, golden goose. And I have seen some people, they realized that Me Too went after Bill Cosby, and that's what they wanted, and that's why they're not going to go after anybody else, because Bill Cosby was their primary target, and they got him. They just need to dissolve that whole organization because I'm sick of them. I really am. It's nothing but a bunch of shady, shiftless women, quote unquote, over there that aren't really doing anything except just making a lot of noise, a lot of lip service. You already know how I feel about that organization. I, I despise them as more as I despise those goddamn feminists. And to be honest, they, they're starting to be synonymous with each other. But that's really all I had to say as it pertains to this video right here. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.